All right, everybody. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a follow up of um, the uh, SP Gadgets, SP Connect uh, phone case and bike kit. I did an unboxing of this uh, <clears throat> about a week or so ago. I got to go on a ride outside with it, <clears throat> and I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I thought about it. Okay, so uh, the couple couple things that I do like about it, um, I really like it in my car. This uh, little connector in the back here, you can put a little um, kind of an adhesive disc uh, somewhere on a flat surface on your car that will easily peel off in the future. And this little guy right here will just pop right into it. At first I thought it was gonna be a little bit difficult to actually find the, the sweet spot to get it con to connect in, but it just goes right in, it's super nice. Put my phone right there, I can use it for navigation. Uh, have easy access to change songs things like that. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> the other thing that I use it for uh, I ride uh, my bike on Zwift. That's what you're uh, kind of seeing right here uh, my, my little setup uh, What uh, what I wanted was something that would hold my phone in place without actually worrying about it sliding off my table so right here You'll see I've got this little table right in front of it um, that I that I use for um, biking to hold. Uh, I have an iPad and I also use it to hold like snacks and things like that uh, just to keep me going during the ride. Uh, but what I did is I took the GoPro mount that they have and it's a little adhesive one and basically I adhered it to this table. Let me get this off of here. And then this little piece right here is a mount that would actually uh, allows you to attach the, the iPhone uh, directly to it. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so what I do is I take this and click it into the mount that I stuck onto my table. And then I can take the case, normally with the phone in it, and pop it on there, and then just do a simple turn, and then I can adjust it. <clears throat> then I can take my HDMI table, cable, sorry, and uh, plug it right in there where my phone's in there, and it'll project the uh, Zwift or anything that I have on my phone right up on my TV, so it makes it nice and easy to see. That is probably the second best thing about this um, case, is just being able to do that right there. It's nice and sturdy. I don't have to worry about it falling off my uh, table. All right, kind of the feature that I actually bought this for was this mount right here. As you can see, it just mounts right to um, the top of the uh, stem uh, where you'd normally have a top cap. And I thought, this is going to be perfect. This is going to be much better than a quad lock. But what I found with a giant phone, the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, 6 Plus or 6S Plus, this thing is so big that whenever I put it on here, my knees, sorry about that, my knees actually almost hit this phone whenever I'm pedaling. So it's not really that good for the plus phones. I don't even think it would be good honestly for a six, six S or a seven, maybe a four S, but they don't make the case for that. Now, one thing that I would like to try is they make another mount that's similar to this, but it's not as sleek looking. It sticks up a little bit. And it's actually similar to the GoPro mount that I used on my table. But you could snap a GoPro right in there. That would be very nice. You wouldn't have to have any type of clamp or anything right here. You just snap your GoPro right in there. And you'd get an awesome view of your GPS and uh, your bars. So this I was hoping for a lot on. Not impressed with it with this gigantic phone. And it's only because the phone is too big to be mounted right there on this particular bike. Have not tried this on my mountain bike. Could be a totally different experience. That's what I'm gonna do next. I'm hoping that since that 
uh, top tube or um, stem uh, cap is actually a little bit different. The bike's not as aggressive that I won't have issues with it running into uh, my knees. So uh, that's kind of my one week trial with the uh, SP Connect uh, or SP Gadgets SP Connect uh, case with the uh, stem cap, uh, the aluminum stem cap, which was nice. It was only 10 bucks. I just wish that would have worked better. And um, my setup that I use for Zwift and the attachment that I use for my car. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, we'll see what the longevity is. I am seeing a few wear spots on the back here already, but we'll see in a month if it's still working. It might, it might last a while, but we'll just have to play it by ear. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, like this video and, um, I'll see you guys later.